offense not so fast. A lot of the time, I don't. I tell my team pay everybody, and not that we go to a big contract. We probably should. Yeah. Like that, but I make sure it's clear that it's work product. Okay. So we're paying you for those photos, and we can use them. We're going to probably credit you as a courtesy, but we own those photos. So give us a little bit of between like, you know, work product and, and freelancing and, you know, as a freelancer, when should you maybe want to get in on it and, 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 and a company, when do you maybe want to make sure you protect yourself? Give some, maybe some thoughts on that. Okay. And I should, I think I'm going to go going, I'm going to go back on my three pitfalls. The third okay. yeah. is not having a contract with an independent contractor. Yes. Because here's what happens. The independent contractor, no matter how much you pay them, you could pay them a million dollars. They yeah. own the intellectual property. Oh, wow. Most, most photographers, even when they have a contract, they say, I own the intellectual property. So the only time that you'll get it, and this is, Tom, this is for logos, branding. Yeah. Anytime yeah. you're hiring an independent contractor, yeah. they own the IP until – there is a signed written agreement that transfers the rights to you. Oh, shit. Even if it's work product. Correct. A working nice. for hire. Yeah. We use it in this context like, oh, it's a work made for hire. It's a work made for hire. A work made for hire is a very, very narrow. It's literally either you're an employee within the scope of your employment. So you get benefits, salary, yeah. like. Then if like you hire a full-time web designer and they're yeah. they're an employee of the company, then you your business owns the IP on But if they're 1099 or like a lot of these, like my team is mostly 1099 on uh, one business 1099 ers by design because yes. that's the business. And you're right, they may do work for me, but they may own that said product. Always, yeah, independent contractor agreement. Like I make, I honestly make my clients like a super basic, like a template one yeah. that's all for the client. But um, then you can plug and play into a statement of work, like all the business terms. So at least like you have an independent contractor anytime you're hiring a web designer or, um, you know, a VA, whatever it is, anytime you're hiring people, you need to have independent contractor agreement. Now, I know defamation is a little bit of a different wheelhouse, but in terms yeah. of IP, let's just say, again, somebody takes my photo, makes me look even fatter, and then there's like memes about me and my likeness with the goal of defaming me. Again, and yeah, I know defamation is a little bit of a different wheelhouse. When do I have some uh, recourse there? Again, is there injury or if they're hurting me or my feelings are hurt? I don't know, right? Like when, when, yeah. when can I, you know... Get him, get him so there's actually, okay, and we watch this with the verdict. The plaintiff yeah. has to show four things. It's one, a false statement that's being held out to be a fact. Two, there's a publication or communication of that statement to some other person. Yeah. Three, fault amounting to at least negligence. So being like kind of like loosey-goosey and negligent about it at least. Yeah. You could be intentional and you could be reckless, but negligence kind of like the yeah. Lowest. That's like that's if like I share like a private thing with you about my me you know my medical history, and I tell you in confidence, although it's true, I told you in confidence, and you blare out to the world. If hey, it's Tom, true, I'm that gonna... knocks out the first prong, and 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 you're done. You yeah. have to show all four things, and Got then it. the last is damages. So you said it's a true statement. Then that happens all the time. People say, oh, you're, you're bad mouthing me. I'm going to sue you for defamation. If it's true, and it's, you're done. It's not defamation. Got it. Interesting. What about like, um, not to get too crazy, but for those people, they're in relationships. Uh, they tend to get a little crazy with the cameras, with the videos, that kind of stuff. Their partner has it maybe on their phone. and then Revenge porn. Yeah. So walk us through that. I just did a TikTok about this. Okay, so so obviously, like, um, there have been re there have been recent movements um, to create revenge porn laws because it used to be that they they weren't as there weren't really many laws. Now there yeah. are. So there's criminal laws in some states, not every state. Also, oh, it is criminal. I, I assume it's civil, but I, it's criminal. Okay, wow. There could there could be. There could definitely be. could be. It depends on the state, and also. 
for um, copyrights really interesting, okay? <laughs> okay. So I just 